Hi and welcome to the Order Wine YouTube channel. Uh, this is a video about wine tasting. First video about wine tasting. So I will surprise people being French. I didn't choose to start with a French wine and I didn't choose to start with a California wine, but I decided to start with Italy. Why? For one, Italy is responsible for wine expansion outside of the Mediterranean area of Europe. For instance, uh, winemaking in France started in the south of France with the Etruscan merchant trading wine, but uh, from there uh, it expanded throughout the, the south of France and, and the Rhone Valley, but also with the Roman invasion through north of France. For instance, the first trace uh, we have from a vineyard in Burgundy is dating one or after Christ. So huge influence of Italy in the world wine expansion. So in addition to the history, Italy today is the first wine producer in the world, the first wine exporter in the world, has more than 310,000 wineries. As a point of comparison, California has 3,500 wineries, so almost 100 times less. And wine is produced everywhere in Italy. Uh, Italy is using mostly local grape varieties. They use up to 375 grape varieties, which is the most of all wine producing countries. As a point of comparison, internationally, uh, grape variety use are about 150 and only 50 are really used in significant amount. The grape variety that Italy is using are also not really well known outside of Italy. So outside of Italy, in significant amount, everyone knows and cultivates Cabernet Sauvignon, Pinot Noir, Syrah, Chardonnay, Sauvignon Blanc. None of them are Italian. All of them are, are French for the most part because of the huge uh, French influence throughout the history back in the 15th, 16th, 17th century or even after the, the 70s when uh, wine, wine world production exploded. So Italy has way less influence and that's one of the reasons why their grape varieties are not massively cultivated out of Italy. Even if over the last few years, uh, some producers, especially in California, are trying to kind of develop the Italian varieties in, in Santa Barbara, in Paso Robles, you now can find some Nebbiolo, you can find some Sangiovese. But that are the two most well-known Italian red grapes. From a white grape perspective, it's mostly Pinot Grigio. Pinot Grigio is uh, not an Italian grape actually, but it's massively produced in Italy and it made it through the, the world stage. But that's three grapes or two grapes out of 375. So it's really, because mostly of historical reason, produced locally and little less known than other other of the grape varieties, and that's why I wanted to uh, take a look at it. Uh, generally speaking, Italian wines are known for being good but simple, and because they are kind of simple, quite inexpensive. So you, you have a lot of Italian wine priced between fifteen and twenty five dollars. Uh, $25 is kind of the entry point of most of the Bordeaux wines, for instance. And if you go to Burgundy, the, the offer and demand um, unbalance is massive. And so to get a good or really good uh, Burgundy wine, you need to go to $30, $40, $50, $80. $80. So that wraps up uh, the presentation, brief presentation of Italy wines and when I choose an Italian wine for the wine tasting today. And so now I move on to the next video to try to do the actual wine tasting. Thanks for watching and see you right away.